Hello everyone. In this video, we will read the chapter Desert Animals, chapter 9th of book Honeysuckle. We know that deserts are very hot and dry places with very less rain and very less water. Still, desert animals need to survive in such harsh conditions. In this chapter, we will learn how desert animals survive in desert. So let's read the chapter Desert Animals. Deserts are the driest places on earth and sometimes go for months or even years without rain. So deserts are very dry. If you have seen, it is long stretch of sand and you will hardly see any water body or plants in desert. And for months or sometimes years, there is no rain in desert. But even the desert animals cannot survive without water. Survive means to live or exist or for long periods in the scorching sun. Scorching is very harsh, severe or very hot sun. So they have had to find different ways of coping with harsh condition. Coping means to face or deal with. Harsh is very severe or rough condition. So even desert animals need water to survive in the very hot sun. So they have to find different ways of surviving or coping or dealing with this severe condition. For example, garbils spend the hottest part of the day in cool underground burrows. Garbils are small rodents, rat-like animals. How do they survive in desert? They spend most of their days in the cool underground burrows. Burrows are a hole or tunnel dug by small animals. So they dig tunnels in the sand and they stay there where it is cool. And strange insects called darkling beetles are expert as, at catching drops of moisture on their leg. And animals called beetles, they are insect. What do they do? They catch the drop of moisture on their leg then lifting them into the air until the drop trickles down into their mouth and then they just lift their leg in the air until the drop just roll down slowly flows down into their mouth so beetles catch the moisture on their leg and then they lift their leg in air until the drop just travels down to their mouth not all deserts are endless seas of rolling sand dunes some are rocky or pebbly and dotted with small bushes, while others are sprinkled with colorful flowers during the spring. Sprinkle means covered. So as we have perception that deserts are only endless sea of sand dunes, that means we only find sand dunes in deserts, but it is not true. Some deserts have rock. They are rocky and pebbly. Pebbly means stones. They have rocks and stones. And they are also dotted with small bushes. That means you can also find small plants in the desert. While others are covered with colorful flowers during the season of spring. There are more than 2300 different kinds of snakes around the world. Ranging from just 15 centimeters long to more than 11 meters. Isn't it amazing that there are more than 2300 different species of snakes around the world. And they can be as small as just 15 centimeters. That means the size of small ruler, your scale. And they can be as long as 11 meters. Most snakes are quite harmless. We are often scared of snakes thinking that they will bite us, they are poisonous. But most snakes are harmless. But there are a few that are so poisonous that they can kill a human being with just one bite. But few snakes are very poisonous so poisonous that they can kill with just one bite. Most snakes lay eggs, but there are many which give birth to their young. In the dry rocky desert of America, there lives a rather evil looking snake. Rather means to a certain extent. The snake is evil looking with a very bad reputation. Reputation means name and fame. So the snake has very bad name. It's frightening rattle. Frightening means scary. Rattle. Rattle means the sound, a sharp knocking sound. It makes a sharp sound with its tail. Can be heard as far as 30 meters away. And it can strike. Strike means attack with lightning speed. It is so fast that it can attack with lightning speed. That means very quickly. 
But the rattlesnake or rattler as it is sometimes called prefers to avoid people if it possibly can. So it's not that rattlesnakes are always ready to attack. In fact, they prefer to stay away from people. It holds its tail upright and rattles the end whenever it is disturbed. It holds its tail up in the air and moves it sidewise making sounds when it is disturbed. In the hope that the intruder will go away. So it hopes that the intruder, intruder is the person who is disturbing him, the trespasser will go away. However, if its warnings are ignored and it feels threatened, threatened means challenged or scared, it will coil ready to bite. If the warning that it makes by its tail by rattling it is ignored, it can, and if it feels that there is threat to him, the snakes can, the snake can even bite. But the rattler itself cannot hear the noise its own tail makes. Like most snakes, it hears things through vibrations in the ground. So many snakes cannot hear sounds. Similarly, rattlesnake also cannot hear. In fact, they feel the vibrations. Vibration is shaking of the ground. If a person walks nearby, the snake can feel the movement. But if the same person were to shout, it would not hear a thing. So if a person is walking near the snake, the snake can feel the vibration, the shaking of the ground. But if the same person shouts, the snake cannot hear anything. Rattlesnakes are very common and widespread animals living right across the American continent from Canada to Argentina. So they are very common in this area, Canada to Argentina. They feed on variety of prey. Prey are animals that are to be hunted. So they eat different kind of animals including mice, voles. Voles are also small plant eating rodent, rat like animals. Rats, chipmunks. Chipmunks are also very small animals like squirrels. They have stripes on their body and many other small animals. Rattlesnakes kill their prey with venom. Venom is poison. So they kill their prey, their other, other animals with their poison. Like all snakes, they swallow the unfortunate animals whole. So like all other snakes, they just swallow. Swallow means to gulp down without munching, without chewing their food. They just swallow the entire animal. Few snakes have to eat more than once a week and some such as the larger pythons can survive for a year or more without eating. Mongoose are other animals found in desert. Mongoose like to hunt together, so they like to hunt in a group. But they always keep a lookout for dangerous predators nearby. Predators are their attackers, animals that prey on other animals. So they stay in group and they always keep a watch on nearby predators. Poking their noses into holes, overturning rocks. Overturning means just rolling or turning upside down with their paws and scratching the ground with their sharp claws. Banded mongoose are very amusing animals to watch. Amusing means interesting or enjoyable. So they always keep moving. They always do certain movement. So they are very interesting animals to watch. A common sight in many parts of Africa. So they are generally found in Africa. They travel in groups of about 20 to forage for beetles, millipedes and other small creatures. Forage means to search for food. So they travel in a group of 20 to search for food like beetles, millipedes and other small creatures. These are all small insects. They like to hunt together, keeping in touch whenever they go out of sight behind rocks or bushes by twittering and calling. Twittering is sound giving a call like that, those of birds. So they always keep making sound. They always watch for predators. And if somebody goes behind the bushes, they give a call to each other by twittering. Always on the lookout for dangers like hawks, eagles and other large snakes. They warn one another with a special alarm call if they spot anything suspicious. So if they spot any danger, they just give alarm, special alarm calls to each other. Mongoose are famous for being able to kill snakes without getting hurt themselves. You must have seen fight between snake and mongoose which is a very common sight. So mongoose are very famous for being able to kill dangerous snakes without hurting themselves. Their reactions are so fast 
that they can dodge each time the snake strike dodge means to move quickly so mongoose are very fast every time the snake strikes they can just move quickly they continually make a nuisance of themselves nuisance means they cause inconvenience or annoyance they just continuously keep moving they make nuisance of themselves until after a while when the snake gets tired they quickly dive in for a kill so they continually keep moving they continually uh, keep making fool of the snake and when the snake gets tired after some time they just dive on the snake to kill it all the female mongoose have their kittens at about the same time young ones of mongoose are called kitten and all the female mongoose give birth to kitten at about the same time they are raised by a whole group in a den made inside an old termite mound or hollow log so they give uh, birth to the young ones inside old termite mound inside the hollows created by termite or inside a hollow that means empty wood when most of the adults are out looking for food one or two males stay behind to stand guard until the other return for the night so this is how they cooperate when all other mongoose go for hunt outside one or two male mongoose stay back to guard the young ones until the other mongoose come from the hunt another animal which lives in the desert is the camel so another very famous desert animal is called camel camels were first domesticated by people many thousands of years ago in the wild camels usually live in small groups of up to 30 animals so until we had until now we saw wild animals camels are also domestic animals they can be wild and in wild they live in a group of up to 30 camels camels have long shaggy winter coats to keep warm and shorter tidier coats in the summer to keep cool so this is how they survive in desert they have long and shaggy shaggy means very long and thick winter coats on their body which keep them warm and in summer they have short and tidy coats a thirsty camel can drink as much as 30 gallons of water 30 gallons a camel can drink 30 gallons in one go one gallon is equal to 3.8 liter that's about 500 full glasses in 10 minutes so a camel can drink about 500 glass of water in just 10 minutes normally however it gets all the moisture it needs from desert plants and can survive for up to 10 months without drinking any water at all so it eats desert plant and gets all the moisture from there and it can go without drinking water for up to 10 months it is rightly called the ship of desert there are two different kinds of camel one known as dromedary has only a single hump the other is called bactrian camel and has two humps so there are two kinds of camel one hump camel called dromedary and two humped camel called bactrian the humps help the animals to survive in the desert by acting as storage containers but they don't store water as many people wrongly believe they are full of fat so the hump of camel has fats in it people believe that there is water stored in the hump which is a wrong belief actually there is fat stored in the hump of camel this fat nourishes the camel when the food is scarce nourishes means it provides energy to the camel it provides the nutrition to camel when there is lack of food scarce means lack insufficient food if they have nothing to eat for several days their hump shrink as the fat is used up so when the camel doesn't eat for many days the hump of the camel shrink because the fat from the hump is used by the body of the camel there are many other ways in which camels are adapted to desert life adapted means to get adjusted so there are many other ways also in which the camels are adjusted like their mouths are so tough that even the sharp thorn cannot pierce through pierce means to enter through their mouth are very tough and even a sharp thorn cannot pierce their mouth so this these were some of the ways in which animals in desert survive even though there is very less water and there are severe harsh conditions so this was about desert animal student i hope you have understood the chapter in the next video we will do question answer and textual exercise of the chapter till then bye bye take care